Okay, so this is problem number 15 from chapter 4 on node voltage circuit analysis. We have a 40 volt independent voltage source here, and it's in series with a 3 ohm resistor and a 1 ohm resistor, and that is parallel connected to 40, 40 ohm, um, which drops a V1, some kind of voltage V1. There's a 2 ohm resistor here, a 4 ohm resistor here, and that drops some voltage drop, V2. And here, this has 2 ohms, and that drops some voltage, um, some voltage V3. And this is all connected in parallel with an independent 28 amp current source. Now, um, we want to use the node, we're instructed to use the node voltage method to solve this problem. So that's what we'll do. But the node voltage method requires that we define some kind of reference node. So um, which node should we take as the ground? We're going to take the one that makes the most sense. So since they've already asked about this voltage drop, this voltage drop, and this voltage drop, it would make sense to either make this or this the ground node. Now notice that you can make anything. I can make this the, the reference node, this the reference node, anything. And the mathematics will always work itself out and you'll get the same. Um, well, you won't get the same because with respect to, um, it's all with point, with respect to something. So, but where it makes sense is right here because this is going from positive to negative. This is going from positive to negative. They meet here. So my math will be most simple if I take that to be the ground node. Whereas if I take this to be the ground node, then I'm going to deal with double negatives. So right here I'll start with uh, you know, it, the math will just end up with a lot more negative numbers, and when you go from positive to negative, you'll end up with cleaner math. So that's going to be my um, my uh, my point of reference. So this is V1 up here, this is V2 over here, and V3 is right here. Starts right there. Okay. So now let's use the node voltage method to find three equations and three for our three unknowns. So node voltage at V1 node. That's going to give me V1 minus 40, V1 minus 40, and be careful not to say V1 minus 40 over 3. There's this one ohm resistor here. And when they're all connected in a series, they're electrically the same. Um, it's not like the current is the voltage is treating this as two separate resistances. Um, they are, but at the same time, electrically, when you're calculating a current, it's like this is really four volts because they're series connected. So remember, when they are series connected, you can swap them around and combine them. So this is going to give me over four ohms plus right here, that's going to give me V1 over 40 plus V1 minus V2 over 2, that's going to give me uh, equals 0, right? Now I'm going to write my first equation, gather, um, write my first equation for uh, my matrix. So I'm going to group all my V1s together. This one, I have 1 fourth. Over here, I have 1 over 40. Over here, I have 1 over 2, 1 half. Now, what V2s do I have? For my V2s, I have negative 1 half. For, I don't have any other V2, so I'm going to close that out. And for my V3, I have 0 V3. And constants, I have a constant here, which is negative 10 on this side, but becomes positive 10 when I put it on this side of the equation. I'm optimizing the way I write this for my calculator because this isn't a video on linear algebra and the electrical engineers don't really solve this with linear algebra anyways they use calculators so if this was a linear algebra video then I would get into the linear algebra but here I'm going to trust that you all have an engineering calculators and that you'll plug it in this is my number one equation from node one I need two more equations and they're going to come from nodes two and three so node voltage at V2 gives me V2 minus V1 over 2 plus V2 minus V3 over 4 plus this one right here plus 
negative 28 because this current is defined as going into the node, which makes it negative 28. Those are all going to be zero. Now, my number two equation, I'm going to write it out for my calculator. V1, how many do I have? I have negative one half right there. Anything else? No other V1s. Close that off. Plus V2, what do I have? I have one half and one fourth plus one fourth and nothing else. Plus V3, I have this here, which is negative one fourth. And that is it. And on the other side, uh, for constants, I have negative 28 on this side, which becomes positive 28 when I put it on the other side of the equation. All right. Now I need to do my third equation, which is going to come from V3, the, the, node, the third node. So node voltage at V3. Okay. So remember, when I'm doing my node voltage equations, I'm going to the third node and writing down and doing KCL, which means I'm finding all the currents that is leaving the node, and the sum of it has to be zero. zero. So this one is going to be V3 over 2. That's this branch current. This branch current is V3 minus V2 over 4. And this branch current is just the 28. Since this is defined as going away, it's already positive, so we put plus 28. All of those have to equal zero. Over here, I gather up my variables. V1, I have zero V1. V2, I have uh, right here, negative one fourth. Plus anything else? Nope. V3. I have one half plus one fourth, and then constants. This is going to go over to this side of the equation, which makes it negative 28. Now I have three equations and three unknown. And when you put it into, and I'll just before I say that, I want to check, make sure I did not make mistakes. One fourth, one forty, one half, negative one half, zero, ten, negative one half, one half, one fourth. Negative one fourth, twenty-eight. Four, negative one fourth, one half, one fourth, twenty-eight, negative twenty-eight. Okay, when you do that, you should come up with V1 is equal to 60. V1 is 60 volts. V2 is a 72 voltage drop. And V3 is negative 13 volts. Okay. Now, the second part asks us about power distributed by the 40 volts. So remember, P is equal to VI. The question is, is this 40 volt? Um, you have two independent sources, right? And they can either one, uh, they can either generate or dissipate. And the question is, which what is this doing? Is it generating power or is it receiving a charge? Remember, a battery can either be charging. Um, or it can be dissipating power. And it's our job to find out what it is by, by observing the passive sign convention. So we know this is 60 volts. Positive current is going to do this, right? So that means positive I, I sub 40, and then it's going to be 60 minus 40 over 3 or over 4. That gives me 5 amps. So 5 amps is going through there. But remember the passive sign convention. Positive current, and you have some voltage source. When positive current goes in this direction, then P is equal to negative VI, which means the, the source is negative. So this tells me that P sub 40 is equal to 5 amps times negative 40 volts. Now, and that gives me negative 200 watts. And uh, that means this voltage source is going to be generating, not receiving a charge, but delivering power to the system. So over here, we have negative 200 watts. There was a question in regards to 
um, isn't this isn't this really positive? Isn't this positive? Refer back to chapter one, figure one point six. You'll see that the passive sign convention says if you define well, um, given that your current is positive, if you have positive current and it enters a voltage source at uh, from if it enters a po if it enters a negative terminal, leaves a positive terminal, then power is going to be negative, right? And the same thing if it leaves the uh, same thing is if it leaves a negative terminal and enters a positive, right? Because this is going in a loop like that. That's the other way you can get positive. Now the other way, the way where you get positive voltage source is in the opposite direction when the positive current enters the negative source and leaves positive. So. Again, referring back to figure 1, 6, that's how you come up, the passive sign con convention tells you that power is going to be negative or delivering to the system. All right, that's it.